Welcome to Valuation of Bonds Part 5. This is the last in the series of five videos on valuation of bonds. This video summarizes what were discussed in the earlier four parts. In Part 1, we compared premium bond X to the discount bond Y and saw that when the yield to maturity is constant, the price of a premium bond declines over time and the price of a discount bond rises over time. At maturity, a bond reaches its par value. In part two, we compared bond Sam that had shorter maturity to bond Dave that had longer maturity and concluded that bonds are price sensitive to interest rate changes in the economy and that bonds with longer maturities are more price sensitive to interest rate changes than bonds with shorter maturity periods. In part three, we compared bond J that had a lower coupon rate to bond K that had a higher coupon rate and discovered that bonds with lower coupon rates are more price sensitive to interest rate changes than bonds with higher coupon rates. In part four, we compared premium bond P to discount bond D and learned that yield to maturity equals current yield plus the capital gains yield. We also learned that a premium bond will have a higher current yield but a capital loss and that a discount bond will have a lower current yield but a capital gain, assuming yield to maturity remains. So this concludes the five parts on valuation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. As always, your comments and suggestions are welcome.